Today we're doing something a bit different. We're going to be reviewing products that I was influenced to buy. So first up we have the Sunzel Flare Leggings. I got used to wearing leggings and the thought of going back was just a bit weird. I eventually caved because I wanted to wear them particularly with my Ugg boots. And so the flare would go around the boot and I think it looks cute. It looks very sporty. This particular pair, the Sunzel ones, I actually purchased and then had to get a size up. I had watched review videos on which ones to get and I got these because of the flare in general. Like the flare is not too tight on your calf and I definitely do not want that. They're not too long, which is amazing and they're comfortable to wear. The only thing I don't like about it is that the crotch gusset, which is that piece that goes in the crotch and down the leg is a bit too forward. So it's not as hidden as I would like. It's just a personal design flaw that I wish wasn't a thing. I also love the no front seam and the performance material because I have an orange cap. So if you're looking for flare leggings, I definitely recommend these ones. Up next we have the clogs and I'm saying the clogs because they're just the general type of clog slipper. So the Birkenstock Bostons were going around and I know what those are like. My mom had a pair years ago and they just fall off your feet. I don't know if there's a new design, but I remember those and I did not like them and they're very big and clunky. So I opted to get these ones, which are half the price. They are by White Mountain and they're suede. I got this color. I should have gone with black. I don't know what I was thinking, but yeah, they grew on me. I didn't expect to like them. I wore them out a couple times and I almost returned them because I felt like my feet were falling out and I even made like a fake strap for the back of my foot. But now I've been wearing them all around the house as my regular slipper. I'm normally a croc person, like the slide croc and also just the regular croc. But these are actually warm because they're suede and I can wear my thicker socks, not the super thick socks. I have two pairs of super thick socks and I can't wear them with these, which is kind of sad. The only thing that has happened, I think it's because I was really wearing them and not being careful. I was really careful with these at first, but nowadays, no. no. So it's actually separating right there, but I think I could just get some kind of glue to fix it. So I was babying these, but now, they're getting kind of destroyed. Suede is a very difficult material to take care of. That's just the price you pay. So would I recommend them? I think yes. I do think that they would make a cute shoe out and about. I kind of want to wear them out and about sometimes, but I don't because it's winter. But I think I would get black if I got another pair and then I would wear those out and about. Now we're going to move on to beauty. So first up is this e.l.f. mascara and I had not used enough mascara in a long time. So I picked up the e.l.f. lash and roll because I just saw that it was fluffy, kind of natural. I thought, perfect, this would be great for the gym or if I don't really want to wear makeup, but I just want something on my eyelashes just to make myself look a little bit more awake. And I normally have more than one mascara anyway, so I thought, why not? And I have to say, it is very good. I love the brush. It's small. I just realized that this brush actually reminds me of the Tower 28 mascara, which was a joy to use. Worn on the upper lashes, this did not flake, but worn on the bottom, it did flake. But I'm wondering if that's because I can't remember if I set my concealer that day. I'm not really sure. Up next is another drugstore item, and this is empty and I repurchased it. So this is the Naturium Dew Glow Moisturizer with SPF. This is SPF 50 and I love the packaging first of all because it's a pump. The only thing is that once it starts to run out, it's just awkward. So it doesn't want to stand up because it has no balance, but it took forever for this thing to be used up. I bought this in August. I repurchased during December when there was a sale on Target's website and I just opened it a couple weeks ago. So it lasted a long time and I would use two full pumps on my face and my neck. This is also the SPF that broke me out of my zinc mineral sunscreen spell. I just kind of refused to use chemical sunscreen. I don't know why. I just felt like 
it was better, which in my head, don't get me wrong, I still am convinced that it's better, but I just couldn't deal with, you know, white casts and hoping that it would match all of my face. So I'm converted. I am a chemical sunscreen person now. This one is kind of cringy to mention because I really feel like I was super influenced and had to jump on the trend with this product. And it is the Sol de Janeiro spray. I got the number 40. This whole time I thought it was 68, but no, I have 40. So this is the Black Amber Plum and Vanilla Woods, which makes a lot of sense why I like this one. I literally stood there in front of the, the bay at Sephora and sprayed and walked around and sprayed. I was just doing a lot of scent research. The vanilla in this is just really good. Oh my gosh. This was just exciting because it wasn't a fortune. It's just cute. It's just cute. We're going back to makeup. I have two items from Milani. The first is the Highly Rated Lash Extensions Mascara. I bought this last week and I really wanted to try tube mascara. I just have been over the removal process of the mascara I was using before and also the eyeliner was just really intense. Every time I would wash my face, even with my favorite CeraVe makeup removing cleanser, it was just not not doing it. So I thought tubing mascara, great. But this one, no, no. It is a very wet formula. The brush is a great brush, but it just goes on and immediately starts to clump in a not good way. It's like I have to brush through my lashes, but the whole tubing mascara chemistry, I should call it, is like it separates and creates tubes, but it is creating tubes that are too thick, tubes that are together and not like singular, more fluffy tubes. That's not what I want. I don't know if I'll ever use this again. I used it twice. I'll have three months to see if it like dries out or changes, but I would not try this. And then moving on to the eyeliner. I got this because I watched a video of a woman and she tested 10 eyeliners on her waterline because I really wanted to try and get an eyeliner that would stay on my waterline. So I ended up with this, the Milani Stay Put Eyeliner. And it definitely stays, but my eyeballs hate it. It's so sad. I was unwell with this on my eyes. I took my cat to the vet. I was there for three hours. And the entire time I was just hoping that I looked okay. And I just wanted to go home and take my makeup off. I only had mascara in the sun and it was just, it was not good, but I love that it has a little smudger at the end. While we're on the eyeliner train, this one was influenced by Jessica Braun, one of my favorite YouTubers. And she compared this one to the Makeup by Mario pencil. This is particularly to line the top waterline and for it to not transfer down so much, but I think my eyes are just watery. So it's great, but not my favorite because my eyes just don't like water line eyeliner anymore. The last thing I'm talking about is not exactly a product. It's more a look and it's actually the look that I'm wearing right now. I was reminded of how much I like to wear dark colors, dark clothes. And I was definitely convinced for a few years that I wanted to wear like light colors, basically a spring, like a light spring palette, light summer palette, not pastels but I definitely did not envelop myself in the world of dark aesthetics, which now I'm into and I was an alternative girl like growing up. And so I went on a hunt for a color that looked very vampiric. So what I have on right now is not exactly what I'm wearing because I could not do a matte lip while filming. I'm not there yet. So this is the NYX Smooth Whip Matte Lip Cream. The packaging is cool because it's matte, but it does feel like the soft butter one with the black top. I forget the name. I feel like it's soft matte lip cream. This is just smooth whip matte lip cream. Is it the same thing, but different? I don't know, but the texture, very nice. The color, this is chocolate mousse. I don't want to define line like I used to do with liquid lipsticks. 
I just want it to be undone, fun, dark, mysterious, vampiric. So I feel like my myself, I don't want to say my old self because it's always been who I am, but I definitely was convinced by the beauty industry, society, that dark lips were not like in and then also wearing masks. I have a lot of it and now I'm into it and it's just great. This is like eating up my entire personality right now. I don't know what that means. I just put this on and I feel great. That is everything I have for you today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.